Hello, Bravo doers. At Stuffy Wood Inc., we are currently investing a lot in our tools, like machinery, cars, and computers. These expenses are fixed assets since we plan to use them for multiple years and not consume them directly. However, as time passes, these assets see their value reduced. We wouldn't dare to pretend that our three-year-old computers still have the same values when we bought them. More than this, for our reports to accurately represent our company, I want these investments to be recorded as expenses over the years and not everything at once. So let's say, for example, I buy a computer for $1,200, which is its gross value, and that I plan to amortize it in three years. At the end of the three years, I want its salvage value to be $300. From an accounting point of view, the computer's value will then be $300 and will stay that way. This leaves us with $900, the residual value, that will be expensed periodically over the three years. Thankfully, all the depreciation entries are recorded automatically by Odoo after we configured everything correctly. There are three ways that Odoo depreciates assets. The linear depreciation method takes the initial residual value and divides it equally by the number of planned entries. The digressive depreciation method multiplies the last residual value by a chosen digressive factor. For example, here, the first entry multiplies the $900 of the initial residual value by the 0.45 factor, which gives the first entry $405. Then the new residual value of $495 is also multiplied by the digressive factor to give a value of $222.75 for our second entry. And finally, the last residual value is used for the last depreciation entry. Lastly, we have the accelerated digressive depreciation method, which is a combination of the two methods. The first entries use the digressive method, but as soon as the linear method gives a higher amount, it automatically switches to it. And again, the last residual value is taken for the last depreciation entry. This way, a company can record higher depreciation expenses in a shorter time than with other methods. So let's check this out right now in our database. All right, so here I am on my database, specifically on the accounting module. So let's go straight to configuration, settings, and from the settings page, we wanna be sure we have one setting activated in particular. So let's scroll down. And we wanna be sure we have assets management activated, which is underneath the automated entry section. So I do have this activated, but if you need to go ahead and select this option and be sure you click on save before moving forward. All right, now let's go to configuration and then we're gonna to go to asset models and we're gonna create one. So let's click on the create button. Okay, so for the asset model name, let's go ahead and say, um, computers three years okay and then we're going to start adding some accounts as you can see here so the first one is the fixed asset account all right and this is for the purchase value of the asset so it's original price and i've already created an account for this okay so it's 100 100 computers if we pop it open we'll see that i added the code the name and the type is fixed assets okay then we're going to remove this from the depreciation account. We're actually going to um, create a new depreciation account. So this is for uh, the depreciation entries, so um, to decrease the value of the asset. So let's go ahead and click on Create and Edit here. And the code here is going to be 100, 900. Um, the name, uh, let's add that right now. And then the type is going to be Fixed Assets. Okay, and we want to be sure we say Do Not Create here under Create Asset. Then Save. Okay, and then we're going to go to our uh, expense account, and I'm also going to create one here as well. So this is for the periodical expense entries of the portions of the asset being used. All right, so let's go to create and edit. All right, the code here, I'm going to say 212230. Um, for the name, let's say uh, depreciation of computers. And then the type is going to be depreciation, of course. So it's different than the other two accounts that had a type of fixed assets. So we'll say depreciation here. All right, and then we're going to save. All right, and of course, we want to add a journal as well. So I'm going to say a miscellaneous operations. However, we can create a special journal for assets depreciation if we want to, but I'm going to leave it the way that it is. So as we can see, these four fields that I just completed, um, they are mandatory because the lines are in bold. And if we go to the right, we also have to um, say the number of depreciations as well. So in this case, we're going to say three years. If you need to, you can change years to months. 
okay? And we want to be sure that our computation method is linear. So let's go ahead and save this. And once it's saved, we're going to go to configuration chart of accounts, and we're actually going to go back to that first account, 100, 100 computers. We're going to edit this. And here under uh, create asset, we're going to say create and edit, I'm sorry, create and validate. And then for the asset model, we're going to choose that model that we just created, okay? And then we can save this. Now that we have all of this set up, we can go to vendors, bills, and create a new bill to see what happens. All right, so I'm going to go to create and choose my vendor, Azure Interior. Okay, I'm going to add a line. Let's say Odoo Laptop here. Okay, for the account, I'm going to add that account, the 100, 100 computers. For the price, let's say 1,200. Okay, and then we're going to save this and validate. And once it's validated, we're going to be able to access our assets from the smart button at the top right. So let's go ahead and click on this and click on the asset here, okay? And as you can see, um, Odoo will uh, generate the entries automatically, okay? So Odoo already planned the entries, it's really convenient. All right, and we have some options at the top as well, but what we're gonna do now is modify the depreciation. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on this. Okay, and for the reason, we're going to say um, salvage $300. And for the salvage amount, we're going to add 300 here as well. And then we're going to click on modify, just like that, okay? So uh, the depreciation entries have been modified and will be posted on the depreciation date, which we have right here, okay? So we have one out of three, two out of three, three out of three. So it's quite simple. Um, as soon as you have it configured, everything else will be um, quickly done by Odoo. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.